Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel, Financial Management e-learning. Today, I'm going to introduce, to discuss another new topics, management information. We all the managers, we need it. So let us start. In the management information system, is the vital topics for the management because management needs the information for decision making. Without information, management can't make the decision. So, management information in this series, I will cover fundamentals of costing, calculating unit costing, marginal costing and absorption costing, pricing calculation, budgeting, cash budget and the cash cycle, performance management, standard costing and variance analysis, break even analysis and limitation factors analysis. Investment appraisal tactics. So, each and every chapter, I'll discuss each and every module we'll discuss. Today, we're going to start first module, fundamentals of costing. In fundamental costing, we learn the recognition and the use of cost information for different purposes. Classifying cost as fixed, variable, direct, and indirect. We know the management information system provides information to assist management with planning, control, and decision making. If we see the information, for example, accounting decision making, Look here, accounting information, economic activities, this is the accounting process, and it goes to accounting information, then the decision making, the states, and again, economic activities. The, within the chain, for example, here accounting process, the activities dividing the business are recorded. Activities transaction is information terms. And from here, information used for making decision. That's been decision. And decision result in new activities. Again, economies. Accounting for decision making. If you see here, the financial accounting is for external reporting, but management accounting for internal reporting, for the management used within the organization for decision making. And cost accounting, cost accounting is the calculating and control of cost. The process of identifying and evaluating production cost is the cost accounting. Simple. And costing system is the branch of cost accounting which is made for achieving the objectives of cost accounting. Costing system is that system which we we calculate different costs with different methods and also monitor cost for reducing or wastes of and waste, not wasted that resource. So, cost accounting systems, within the system, we have to do, that means cost ascertainment, determining selling price, cost control, cost reduction, this is the difference between cost control and cost reduction, determining and controlling efficiency, facilitating preparation of financial and other statements, 
providing basis for operating policies. If we see that here, a graph from MI of US cost accounting system, if we see the input measurement basis, that means pure historical or normal historical or a standard, an inventory valuation method through output, direct or variable, full absorption and activity base. If we see the cost accumulation method, job order costing, process costing, backflash costing, hybrid costing, cost flow assumption, specific identification, people, weight difference. And we know not LIFO is forbidden under the International Accounting Standard 2 inventories. Recording level capacity, perpetual and periodic. So it is the cost accounting systems. What is cost? We know a cost is the value of money that has been used up to produce something and hence is not available for use anyone or anymore. Rent expenditure, a payment or the promise of future payment Cost units. A cost unit is the basis measures of product or service for which costs are determined. And cost objectives. A cost objective is anything for which we are trying to ascertain the cost. Okay. So relationship between management accounting and cost accounting, that means management and accounting within the management, planning, organizing, cost decision, and cost accounting, and within the, that means all are under management accounting. In the cost classification, we can classify cost in different way uh, by the nature, that means direct cost, indirect cost, if we classify it by behavior, we can say that fixed cost, variable cost, semi-variable cost. If we divide it in the cost element, that means material cost, labor cost, expenditure, etc. And if you do it for the functional classification, then we'll see that the production cost, administrative cost, selling cost, distribution cost, research and development cost, pre-production cost, conversion cost, prime cost. Okay, and then by the control, that control will be uncontrollable, normal and abnormal, sunk cost, estimated cost. So different types of cost classification. Um, if we see that in Bangladesh, Open University is um, uh, one of the MBA books, they are said that there are 47 types of cost thing, that means cost classified. And one cost can be another name. And if you see that cost element, cost element, there are look here, element of cost or material, labor and overhead, I mean, and others cost. So material, there are two types, direct and indirect. Direct means who is directly input for the production. And labor, direct, indirect. So all direct is the prime cost, Direct cost, variable cost also, and all indirect are overhead. So, a direct cost is a cost that can be traced in full to the cost units. That means traceable cost. It can be traced. An indirect cost or overheaded cost that incurred with cannot be traced directly and in full to the cost unit. And Prime cost means direct labor and direct material. Conversion cost are labor cost and overhead cost. And factory cost are indirect material, indirect labor and overhead costs. So cost can be classified in different ways by the nature. So here we see that you need to 
providers. It is the cost. We use the word variable cost. Is the fixed cost? Total cost. This is the if it is the profit that which is the revenue. And if it's the less, then it's don't get the loss. Okay. So total expenditure, we can say direct material cost plus direct indirect material cost equal to total material cost. Direct labor cost plus indirect labor cost equal to labor cost. Direct expenditure, indirect expenditure equal to expenditure. So all directs are prime cost. All indirects are overhead. And direct cost or prime cost plus indirect cost are overhead equal to total cost. So production cost, administrative overhead, selling overhead, distribution overhead, etc. All this different types of expenses. Production cost, that are product cost, are cost identified with products produced or persist of for resale. Period cost are the cost deducted at expenses during the particular period. And cost classification for planning and decision making. And we can classify cost in the three types that is fixed cost, variable cost, and semi variable cost. And fixed cost, always fixed, variable cost vary within the production, semi variable, and some are fixed, some are variable, relevant rents. So responsibility accounting is a management control system based on the principles of determining and locating responsibility. And responsibility center, that means revenue center, cost centers, profit center, investment center. And responsibility to be assigned to the segment managers that have the greatest amount of influence over the key elements to the managed. Controllable cost, a controllable cost is that can be controlled. Uncontrollable is that cannot be controlled. And cost behavior, if you see that, variable cost is very, but variable cost is fixed per unit. But variable in total. Fixed cost, total are fixed, but variable in per unit. Because if production increased, the fixed cost per unit decreased. But if production decreased, then fixed cost per unit increased, but fixed cost always fixed. So, if we see one of the cost sheet, the major components here, cost, cost may be direct or indirect, direct cost material, direct labor expense, is total cost, prime cost, and indirect cost, production overhead, administrative overhead, selling and distribution overhead. Here, production overhead, and prime cost is the factory cost or factory works. And factory cost plus administrative overhead will find cost of production. And cost of production plus selling and distribution overhead will get cost of sale. And cost of sale and sale the difference between cost of sale and sale. Cost of sale for one of the product, and if we sell something, the selling price, different, different, we can deduct from selling price to the cost of sale, then we'll get profit or loss. Loss incurred when selling price is less than the cost of sale. And we'll get profit when selling price is more than cost of sale. So today, I'm 
we need to into finished module one and next week we'll see with my second module of management information hope you will enjoy it you will learn it without learning we can't survive so take care hopefully we'll meet again inshallah goodbye